I'm a Canadian boy. I live in Los Angeles now. Thank you all. I've lived in uh, LA for a couple months now, and um, it's nice. You know, like the weather's beautiful. Obviously, like, every day is the most beautiful day there. It's so nice in LA that I think that my wife's gonna leave me at any point. <laughs> That's how nice it is. Because if Canada has taught me anything, growing, growing up here in Canada, uh, breakups happen in warm weather. <laughs> That's why, not, not in the winter, right? Like you wait till the spring to break up with the person, right? Like every time the first frost would hit here, I'd look at my wife and be like, it's you and me till spring. <laughs> she knew, oh, she knew. No one breaks up in the winter, right? And I realize nobody breaks up in the winter because you can't storm out of an argument in the winter. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Summer, no problem. You can end on a high note. You can be like, I don't like you. I don't like your family. I'm out of here. Then flip flops on and you're out of there and that's it. <laughs> Screen door, even, who cares? Winter, you can't do the same thing. Even if you end on that same high note, you're like, I don't like you, I don't like your family, I'm out of here. And then 20 minutes putting your boots on, staring at her. And then you gotta, she's got to zip you up because your mitten's on too quick, right? She's zipping you. And then you got to go outside and just start your car and then go back inside. And then they're staring at her and just staring. And then you're scarfing and hissing at her more. And then you got to go back and then scrape the ice off your car. This is all part of it! This is part of it! And then you realize the plow just went by and there's that mound at the end of your driveway and you're like, the spring is when we'll talk, I suppose. <laughs> so we're doing fine. We're doing fine down there. Another thing about living in LA too, like uh, the weather's so nice and uh, they have like big confident bugs. Because again, warm weather, they don't die. They just get bigger and they pants and they're who are you? Like they're just, <laughs> like at least if you see a gross bug in Canada, you can be like, well, the winter will kill that. <laughs> and that's, that's new. We're not down there. It's, they're just big. And they're in your face all the time. Like I was, I was in my apartment the other day and there's a fly in my face the whole time. I was walking around and it was right here. Like the whole, like it was right, like, who are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Like the right, I'm like, you, there's garbage over there. You love garbage. <laughs> Look at the garbage. Do I stink? It was right here. It was in my face so long that a small part of me was like, is this fly transporting my shrunken friends? <laughs> and they're trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> That's how, like, they're on the fly, like, please help us! It took us two weeks to train this thing! And I'm like, because I'm big, right? That's, is that it? Also, my apartment's full of uh, daddy long leg spiders. Yeah. Which is the name of a spider I hate saying the most, I think. Daddy long legs. <laughs> That's what we all have to say. Oh, daddy. Oh, there's a long legged daddy in the bathroom. <laughs> Does it have long legs? Yes, it's a daddy. It's a long-legged dada. Ooh, daddy. That's the name the scientists landed on. They were like, yeah, just name it after the jazz bar owner from downtown, who cares? <laughs> daddy. Useless spider, too. I've never seen one do anything. I've never seen one catch a fly. Like, the only thing I've seen daddy long-legged spiders do is hang out in the corner of my shower and judge my wet body. That's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> they're not moving, you know they're looking. They're just there, just like, oh, daddy's here. <laughs> Stupid spiders. There's one right above my bed, too. Like, and I, like, it's in the corner, and I look at it. Like, I don't want to kill it, just because it's like, it's that, it's big enough that if I clean exit, like, it would go, poof, like, it would make that noise. You don't want to feel the body. You know, you don't want that, ooh, daddy, no! Like, <laughs> You'd yell that, Daddy! I always look at it too and I'm like, if the internet has taught me anything, that thing's gonna crawl in my mouth while I sleep. <laughs> that's what, that's always a hot article that crops up in your Facebook feed, right? It's always like your weird uncle sharing it. Be like, hey, six spiders a year crawl in your mouth while you sleep. It's Uncle Peter, I'm on here too. <laughs> that's the article. The article literally, that's all it says. It just says six spiders a year crawl in our mouth while we sleep. That's what, that's it all. Scientists say, 
some scientist. He said it. I don't know what the test was there, him going in the lab one morning, just being like, is anyone else shitting daddy legs? <laughs> a lot over here. You too? We got to look into this. Not eating them awake. <laughs> and that's, that's what the article says. It says six spiders a year crawl in our mouth while we sleep. It threw out the year, which I, I was like, I'm fine. That's fine. Like within 12 months, who cares? Like that's a whole year. Like at least it's not like once a year, one night a year. You're just like, here they come. And then you go to work the next day. You're like, I got my six in last night. That was my night. That's why I'm so tired. Me and all my roommates, our cycles are sinking. We all got our spi spiders in. We got an apartment too in, in old Los Angeles. It's good. It's about, uh, right after I signed the lease for it, the uh, landlord, I swear to God, she looks at me after I sign it. She goes, she goes oh, by the way, um, the last tenant said that they saw a ghost. <laughs> so that's just a little one. She added that. She's like, it's just a small boy. I'm like, just a small? That's, well, I can, that's fine. Little one, whatever. I told her that too. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, no, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Which is true. I don't believe in ghosts. Um, like when I'm around people. <laughs> when I'm alone, I believe in ghosts 100 <laughs> percent. Which I think is true for everybody. Like when you're with your friends, they're not scary. Like if a ghost came in here right now, none of us would be like, ah, like we'd all be like, yeah, ghost is here. Like pouring beers into it, trying to smoke it. Like, I don't know, vaping it, who cares? But then you'd go home and you're like, I shouldn't have tried to vape the ghost. And that's exactly what happened. She told me that there was a ghost in my apartment. And I was very brave because she was there. I was like, I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, love it, great. Love the ghost, yeah, I hope he shows up. I hope he's here all the time. Let's hang out, let's hang out, uh, yeah, love the guy, hope he's always around. Just m moving plates, sure, wisping things, absolutely, love it, hope he's around. But then the first time I was alone in the apartment, I was like, I shouldn't have said those things. Because <laughs> that's when ghosts are scary, when you're alone, right? And this is my remedy for not wanting to see ghosts, is uh, every time I'm alone in the apartment, I just loudly describe everything I'm doing. Because <laughs> if I know ghosts, you have to be like quiet them to be effective, right? So every time I'm alone in the apartment, I get home, I'm like, oh, here I am, alone in the apartment, off to the kitchen, go to the kitchen, I'm making eggs, I'm making eggs, ah, ah! Just so if there was a ghost in there, it would just be like, well, he's already freaking out, I don't know, there's nothing extra I could do. I'm Matt O'Brien, thank you guys very much for having me.